Today will be a bit of a different video. I want to make a theme or some sort of thing to play as an intro, outro, maybe make like a song in general. Right, so basically, um, today I'm not going to be making the full thing, although I will be making videos on making the full thing, just so I have it there in case anyone tries to like, oh, you know what, let's, let's content strike this guy, or, you know, I'll like, well, I have the files and videos here that prove that I kind of put it together myself, so what are you playing at? But anyway, not the point, aside the point, right? What I want to show off right now is um, some of the few things that I learned while watching hours of tutorials, and that's also kind of why I want to take a break for today, because, well, yeah, yeah I've spent an hour watching tutorials, my brain's pretty fried right now, so without further ado, I'll get into it. So, a lot of time in LMMS, you'll be greeted with like the beat bass line. Editor. Whenever you add, add instruments in, it'll just go straight to the beat bass line editor, and it gets really um, kind of tricky to work with. If you're, if you're like me, you, you kind of prefer to work with the direct sounds on these tracks here. Um, so, first of all, I'll show you how to get like the correct sounds into the actual track, and not into the beat bass line editor. So say for example, say if I wanted like that harp, right, for whatever reason, or the clarinet, right. Um, if I just double click it, it's, it's, you see it just goes straight into the beat bass line editor, which is not what I want. I don't want to have to deal with that. So what I have to do instead is if you click and drag it here, it appears straight in there. It's pretty simple, but it took me a while to work that out, so uh, that's something to show off in that sense like and the benefit of that is you can literally just go straight in and edit stuff there i'll show you what all this means in a minute right because normally you'd be greeted a black screen like this and it's like okay well how do i place notes there's actually something you can do here where you can kind of select your scale so say for example if i select uh well if i click it yeah so you know if i got a major scale i can mark my current scale and what that will do is that will guide me to where I want to actually place my notes. As in, it will put all the lines that are part of your scale in blue and leave all the ones that aren't part of the scale you selected in black. And you can also, like, say I right-clicked on C to mark it. I can even right-click on A and mark current scale there. And as you can see, it's um, different. It's, it's showing me the... It's using some of the black keys because that's part of how the A major scale goes. So you can also change to something like, say, this, which will mark all that. Like, so no matter what you want to do, if you know what any of these words mean, because um, most of these I do not know what they mean, being honest, but. Oh, what does diminished look like? So I've heard a bit about that right now, so... Oof. Anyway, not a point, not a point. One of the most, co most common ones would be a major scale. Um, yeah. What's chromatic? Whoa. Ah, I see. So that is just like... If you want to... Okay, okay. I see, I see. Yeah, basically the benefit of this is you can mark your current scale. And say, for example, there's C major, so it's just the white keys to keep things simple. You can then start making other things. Next thing I learned was about chords. Like, for example, that's a chord. A C chord. But say, for example, if I want to go like that. Oh, wait, that shouldn't be there. That's a D chord, but that's D minor. What I can do is I can click Shift and Control, and click them, and then just let go of Shift and hold Control, press down, and I now inverted the chord, although that kind of looks a bit weird. Um, not quite what I had in mind. But, hang on. Drop that down. There we go. That is a... Uh... Yeah, as you can see, it kind of makes 
that sort of sound. Yeah, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I also learned that you should reinforce bass notes. And if you're wondering what this is about, um, like the sound of the instrument I got going on, I'll remove this real quick. Is that I? Oh, I should also delete that. Okay. All right. Say, for example, here, I actually have an effect on it, the Carve Reverb, um, which basically you click here, and you get all kinds of effects that... Um, that you can kind of equip to any of your instruments. Now, I don't know what most of these do, so I'll have to find out. The pulsator I find really cool, because say for example you go... Let's see, it, like, if you hear that left, right, left, right, left, right effect there, like... I find that a really cool effect, to be honest, but I haven't found a good use for it yet. But, you know, that's a good one. Um, basically, the preset that I have out here is I want to try making some hardcore. Am I going to bring back UK hardcore? Probably not. <laughs> Being real. <laughs> like, you know, I'm not that good. Uh, if I could... <laughs> It'd be dope, but, uh, yeah, no, nah. <laughs> I, I doubt I have the skill set for that. Um, but yeah, now this is basically just, well, I've already been recording seven minutes. Time flies when you're having fun, right? But basically, yeah, this is just me showing off um, some of the things that you can really do. Like here, for example. And you've got that proper boom, 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 boom. It's proper... It's a bit fried though, maybe I need to like clear it up a bit, but then again, it, it kind of is supposed to be like a... You know, kind of like a dirty bass, you know? Um, let's see what I can actually do with this. So uh, that's the volume, that's the... Actually, I wonder what it would sound like if I put reverb on this. Rippier drums, maybe. That is sick. Let's turn the room size up. Oh, that's not as good, actually. Maybe turn the room size down. Hmm. I don't know, maybe room tight size 2 was best. Ah, I see, the room size actually matters a lot, because if your room's too big, it's not bouncing off as much. If your room's too small, it, it just ain't got that time to travel through the air. Try to decide between 3, I, I doubt 4 is going to be good. Yeah, no, that kills it too quick. I'm trying to decide between two and three. That's really loud and punchy, but that's... I just realized I'm kind of killing your ears here. Rip headphone users, am I right? Um... But yeah, no, this is um, quite fun. Maybe I'll turn this down a bit, just so um, in my OBS, so it's just not so aggressive. I wonder what happened if I add the pulsar to this. Uh... All right. All right. Yeah. No. This is great. What I probably actually want to do then, come and think of it is uh 
Where, did that, where is this thing again? I think I remember. Uh, so it is in... No. Okay, I do not remember. I remember it being somewhere. Right, so it's definitely in this instruments area. Ah, drum synth. Yes, I remember now. It's drum synth misc. Then... Yeah, I have quite a few names over here, as you can see. Few people will use this. <laughs> okay, that's a funny name for it, but... Oh, I gotta get that in. Okay, no. Well, see, this is the thing about double clicking. Alright, I'll name this Gabba Kick Pulse. So I can. I could probably actually have copied it. No, yeah, no, let's just rename. Okay, fine. Alright, so here I want to put the reverb in, and I want to put the pulse in. Or is it calf reverb? Uh, calf pulsator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it up to just below the saw here. Right, so I have my... You know, I'm going to put my drums up there as well. Because the drums are kind of a thing. What does it, it give me a hard tone again? Okay, I can go between the drums and the saws. Yeah, no, this is a... Basically, I, got, I watched a tutorial and they recommended that... The gabba kick, the clap, the hi hat open the crash, and as well as a saw and fat saw. Um, but I just picked up like um, all this other stuff because, well, it seemed good to me. So basically, now I got my my instruments here. Um, as you can see, I got my reverbing piano. Things kind of get all over the place. If you don't manage them. So, um, that will be a thing. But yeah, now this is, um, like, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Like, that's just sort of testing out what it sounds like on different keys. I wonder if you can. Nah, nah, you have to test it out in there if you want to do that. Let's see, so what have I actually got here? So, you got... Big bass. Pulsating bass. That's a common new sound, so... Well, it's, it's, a, it's a quintessential sound, no. It's just a sound. Like, these are mainly, like, ones that I used quite a bit. Oh, I know what this needs. This needs bass booster, I think. Yeah, that's a sign that needs bass booster for show. And let's see, wait, frequency, can I turn up the frequency on my bass boost to see what happens? Uh, maybe turn up the gain, rip headphone users. Yes. Let's see the saw here. Oh, okay, I don't know what to do with the saw yet. I 
That's fat solo. Solo piano. I do need to turn up the IL is already good. But yeah, as you can see, these have different since this is in a sub effect from it's basically if you go in here, you have a bunch of presets as well. So those come from this preset folder over here. Whereas these come from the samples folder up here. So they have different controls. Much like if I added in... And let's go back to that um, Opulent Z. That I, or Opulent Z. I don't know if it's American or English, but... I'm English, so I'm going to say Opulent Z. So if I drag this clarinet in, it also is going to have different controls. So... That's something else to keep in mind. Is there's quite a few things you can do. Come back fresh tomorrow with it and see what I can throw together. Well, I say that, but there ain't really anything thrown together about it. It's really a meticulous planning thing. Another thing I should say is you can change your BPM up here by double clicking it. I went with 240 because I don't know I'm a bit of a maths guy and Say, for example, 60 beats per minute would be 1 beat a second, so this is like 4 beats a second, I'm pretty sure. Which lines up alright with what I want to do, I guess. Um, yeah, now i got to leave it here for right now. I hope you can find some useful information from this if you actually want to get the program itself. It's LMMS. It's open source, so last time I checked, it's free to download. You can get all kinds of plugins for it. It's great. By you can get some real professional stuff done for, in this free. So if you're looking for like a audio DAW. Um, this is this is going to be something to consider looking at. Like you don't have to put any upfront investment into it. This is something that you can play around with. If you want more powerful software later that you do pay for, it will be good to have experience in this. Because then you already know what you're doing and you're not wasting your premium subscription trying to figure out what to do. You just sort of know. And that's about it. Have a good day.